Okay. Okay. Let's start. All right. Um, okay. Uh, welcome to Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. Yes, it's always fun to be here and talk all things Bell Medical, right? Yeah, I feel like we've, like I went on with Eric and Bree and you were on with James and so now yeah. we get to be together yes. again. So we're so. off the road and we're back in our happy space, yes. right? Yes, So today we were trying to decide like, what we want to talk about. Um, and we kind of just want to speak about like our why. Yes. Like why we do what we do. Um, and I think this week, like, I don't know what happened, but we have gotten like multiple negative reviews. See, and I, I want to talk about that. Yeah. Because it's just honest, right? Yeah. 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 So we, yeah, so we get reviews all the time, like happy patients. So pa- many happy you know? So many. Um, people who are like, wow, like you changed my life. People who like specifically tell us like, I lost this many inches. And those are so fun. Yes. Um, I, I think like any other business with the way that the world is as transparent, uh, transparent and honest, mm-hmm. any business is going to deal with the good and the bad. Right. And right. It, unfortunately, sometimes the bad speaks louder than like the 20 yeah. good. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and that's discouraging. Yeah. So I mm-hmm. wanted to um, kind of like go over some of those. Um, I had, so one is not, I don't even think that this is a patient, um, but it's about our recent billboard. Um, so as the marketing team, I feel like this is like directly to <laughs> us. Okay. They didn't like it. Okay. So this is it. Please consider removing or editing that billboard on northbound I-15 about the mommy makeover. If someone wants to use your service, let them come to you. It's heartbreaking to see these suggestions that there are target belly areas to be fixed on a mom's body. It can be such a vulnerable time for mothers, especially new ones, and they don't need anyone suggesting something needs to be fixed. Your service and staff may be outstanding, but this sends a very damaging message. It's a shame this even needs to be said. So I read that and I was like, oh. I know. (laughs) You know, because she, this person speaks to my why, why I struggled getting into this industry because Mm -hmm. I didn't want anyone to think or believe that they were not good enough as they are. Right, right. And so it took me a minute to wrap, and you too, right? Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, when I first even, like, took the interview, right, like, we've talked about this, like, Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, like, don't want to tell people, like, oh, you need this to Mm -hmm. to look good Mm -hmm. or you need this to be worthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think like with plastic surgery, like that's like a big thing. And like, this is like, there's very like distinct beauty standards, but it's like the opposite of what we're trying to do. No, it really is. I think there's a lot of shame based feelings around changing your body. Yeah. Um, some of it is accepted, say dental work is accepted, braces, coloring Mm -hmm. your hair. Yeah. And so there are some social norms to say, it's okay to paint your nails. It's okay to change your teeth. But in regards to changing your body, otherwise... There happens to be some really Yeah, and, like, that's interesting that you say, like, hair. Like, I don't think anybody would come up to you and say, like, I think you probably need to go blonde. Yeah. You would look better as a blonde. Right. But you as a person could be like, I really want to change my hair. Sure. And you go blonde and you feel great. You know what I mean? Right. And so I think what we're trying to do is not tell you that you need to change because you don't. Like, wouldn't it be nice if we could all love our bodies? Yes. I, That'd be cool. I, it would be wonderful to live in a world where everybody was seen as beautiful. Right. And the truth is, our goal at Bell Medical is to make sure that everybody feels beautiful. Feels beautiful, yeah. Even if it's just simply having a conversation, there's plenty of conversations we have with patients mm-hmm. where we say, hey, maybe this isn't the fit for yeah. you. You need to go love your body. Yeah. Be, and that's not uncommon at times. Mm-hmm. So that said, we're not putting, we're not trying to put a, I can see the point of what they're trying to say and the, and the feeling behind it. Mm -hmm. It's a fine line in trying to get people to understand if you choose to change anything about yourself. Right. And yeah, that's what it is. It's like, if there's something you're struggling with, if your body is stopping you from being happy, from living your life, from going out with friends, from putting on that dress. From being healthy. Yeah. Right. All hormonal stubborn fat is very, very hard. It's hard on mm-hmm. the mind and the emotions and it's hard on health. Right. And so that said, I suppose I think it's trying to get us out there to say, hey, come 
and just have a conversation with us and see yeah. if it's a match. Mm-hmm. But we want to be such an outlier in a space that is safe and isn't about we need you to change your body. Right. It's it, And I can see their point and being on the inside, it's I, I see it. It's hard. So <laughs> I was going over um, some videos that that we made that Eric and I were making for our semaglutide sale. And it's just like a video of me. <laughs> and I'm like, like, so, you know, get this sale right now so you can have a bikini ready body this summer. And then like I stopped and I was like, I hate what I just said, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and Eric, like we've talked about it. Like anybody is a bikini body. Anybody is a summer body. Are. Yes. And so we're, we're trying to like, it's like weird because we're trying to be on this like line of like, yeah, like if you love your body, like embrace Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Because really what because we, we don't sell, we sell confidence. Yeah. That's what we sell. Yeah. And whatever way that looks to mm-hmm. everyone is going to be different. But what we hope is that every single person who p- comes to us and suggests that there's an area of their body they want to see some improvement on, we have right. a tool that works. Mm-hmm. That's big. Yeah. And and then if that impacts their self-confidence for the better, right? which whitening teeth does that, straightening teeth does that, um, contacts do that, you name yeah. it. There's a lot of things out there that do that. Right. Um, but that isn't to say that it, it's so individual it's so personal mm-hmm. so it is the billboard is information yeah information about someone who yeah might. and it says it says mommy makeover and then it says the price and there's like an icon that tells you what the sites are and so like maybe that was like triggering for some people I can see um that. yes and I and I and I I sympathize with that yeah we both do it's it's this fine line of making sure no one feels like they have to come to us mm-hmm but also trying to help them understand if you want to do something, yeah. this is the place to come. Especially with moms, and that's what she yeah. was talking about. Like, right. we don't want anybody to be like, oh, I just had a baby. I look terrible. I need to go to Bell Medical. No. Mm-mm. But, like, if it's like, oh, you have little kids running around the house, and you just, like, don't feel like yourself anymore. You feel unhappy with how you look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Like, then we just want to be a support for you mm-hmm. um, and help you make that change. Right. Part of the conversations is really understanding, is this truly a fit for you? Mm-hmm. You know, are you being too hard on your body? Right. Um, are you expecting too much? I was just talking to Mari, mm-hmm. the treatment coordinator here, and she said, yeah, we, she was telling me about the consultations that she was having this week, and she said, there's been a few that I've had to turn away. Okay. Um, and so say like you have no fat to, to you're, remove you're, yeah and yeah. so I think like in those cases it's like maybe there's like some work that you need to do um on yourself like right, right you know right. go to therapy start reading books start you know like right. and I think like that's so good yes um to yeah. really and I almost feel like right now how like our society is it's almost like it's a sin to not love your body. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know. But like, it's okay. Like, well, we all struggle. Yeah, every we single, do. If you really were to sit down with every human being, mm-hmm. they're given these beautiful bodies and we tend to beat them up. Right. And I, it, so it's hard to be in an industry where we're saying, hey, don't beat yourself up anymore. Come mm-hmm. here. It's the safest, happiest, best place right. to do something if you choose. But if you don't, Please just go shower your life with confidence. Love yeah. your skin. Like there's just like so many things that you can do as a person to work on yourself. And this is just one of the tools right. Right. Um, right. that you can use to feel confident. Right. But we pride ourselves in it being a safe environment, yes. low pressure environment, mm-hmm. and an environment that if you choose to do something, it will work. Yeah. And that's really, at the end of the day, what we get excited about. Right. But in doing, in getting that message out there, we don't want to then say everyone should come. Everyone right. needs to change. Everyone because needs to don't. look a certain and way. And like, I think at Bell Medical, like even like in our staff, like you can see like everybody is here yes. and present and we everybody. love it. Like, yes. and like, I'm really happy with my body. I'm not 110 pounds with a, you know, skinny little waist. Like I weigh 150 pounds, but... There was a time when I was super uncomfortable with my body, and I used semaglutide, you know, as a tool. As a tool to yeah, and, and I, it's, it's been so fun to be around you, like to start to finish, to start to finish of yeah. that, because you decided, okay, maybe a procedure isn't for me, but semaglutide mm-hmm. is for me. That was mm-hmm. the tool you used with us. Yeah, and I've watched you show up week by week, just more yourself. Yeah, it's like been so fun to see the real. Ariana walk into, you know, work. Well, and that's, like, how I feel. Like, I just feel like 
I didn't like seeing pictures of myself. I didn't like going clothes shopping. Like I felt like I had like had lost my style because mm-hmm. I didn't want to go shopping. Mm-hmm. That makes um, sense. And so like now recently, it's just like I feel confident and like yeah, I'm not as skinny as I was in high school. Whatever, nobody is. You know what I mean? Right. But Bodies I, change. I do. I right. feel good, and, and you I, can tell. And really, it's about confidence. That's why I say we sell confidence. Mm-hmm. You know, my story is a little different. I did a procedure, but I was somewhat a mom, four kids, and I had worked really hard in the gym. And it was getting to the point where I just kept feeling like I was just just chasing um, a goal weight, no matter how hard I worked or how well I right. ate, nothing, is nothing working. was working. And then all of a sudden I was able to go in and remove some stubborn fat areas and my body just, it was like, thank you. And it started to respond and my confidence changed and it, it became a, a situation for me where I didn't think about it anymore. It was mm-hmm. like, it was like someone took a burden off my shoulders. Right. My body just started to behave in a way that I was like, this is what I thought the gym was going to do for yes. me. But in reality, it was this perce- this small procedure that went it we went in, and now I don't have to think about it as much. Yeah, you know, everybody thinks about their body on some level. We mm-hmm. can't re- we'd look in the mirror. Yeah, but Belle freed a, so much insecurity in me. Where it's like you didn't have to have that focus. You no, didn't have to be. I thinking. could focus on things that were far better. Yeah, and I could look outward again yeah. and not I love that stress about it. Yeah, I I do love that. Um, some other negative reviews. Okay. Um, so one was talking about the pain. Okay. So they said, okay. just so you know, the procedure's pretty ouchy. Mm, okay. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that a little bit because, like, pain is different for everyone. Yeah, and, and like, it's... yeah, the procedure is painful for some people. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have tools to help ease that pain, right? We do, right. And we're very, very careful with each patient. We'll go slower. We'll give more medication if yeah. needed. Some people's nerves can override mm-hmm. that. But in general, it, 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 it it's worth a little bit of ouchie. Yeah. It just is. And we do try to set proper expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this patient probably just wanted to let people know that maybe it was worse. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to explain because there's such a range. Uh-huh. Um, but... I laughed at her like it was ouchy, ouchy. <laughs> yeah, which is great. I love the honesty. I do. I, I know, love that that good. was her honesty. And I thought that was good because everybody's different. So like we've had patients say like I literally couldn't feel a thing. Like I, I slept through the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Um. And then we've had patients that that were like, oh my gosh, like that like that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. And so we don't want you to feel like you're alone in that. Yeah. Like, yeah. we're here for you, um, whatever, you know, you're feeling. Mm-hmm. So if you are feeling like, you know, like, oh, this is a little more painful than I thought it was going to be, um, we can, you know, we can hold your hand. We can go slower, like you said. We can have, we have the massage, massage therapist. therapist. Come in. Yeah, I mean, we really are so cautious. It mm-hmm. is a red carpet, one-on-one experience, and we understand every patient will respond differently and like you said I think a lot of it is nerves because we do give um that like little cocktail at the beginning it's like Xanax and a few other things Mm -hmm. to help you Mm -hmm. like calm down Mm -hmm. but like yeah if you're like really wired and like nervous Mm -hmm. I think that kind of affects it Mm -hmm. so and I spoke to a doctor um, in St. George just the other day and uh we're just constantly trying to improve ways that you know patients experience is a little bit better we want it we want them to be awake because Mm -hmm. it is the safest most and best way to recover right from something like this and it is a minimally invasive procedure yeah it's a procedure but it is a procedure yeah everyone's going to feel pain differently Mm -hmm. one thing I have noticed though in almost every case they'll say but it was worth it yeah it was worth it Mm -hmm. it was worth a little bit of ouchie in those moments to actually change my life change my body so yeah yeah. I love that. And yeah, I think, yeah, we, we want to be honest. We want to be transparent, but we also like, don't want to scare you away. No. Like, it's not the worst thing. Like no. Christy, one of our patients, she's like, this was better than going to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I do not like the dentist. I avoid it. Yeah. And this person, per, yeah, for me, per, for, for me, I took, I didn't want to take, I don't like pain medication. So I took mm-hmm. very little and that was just an easier experience yeah. for me but again I think everyone is going to be different right and, and like you said like we're here to work with you mm-hmm. based every, off of that we ask lots of, of questions needs. we watch for the cues mm-hmm. and we do everything in our power to make it a good experience yeah so, I love that and yeah. I think that's just like who we are as a company and that's what's what's been 
it's kind of like the best and the worst part of marketing is like trying to like express that to yeah. people. Yes. Like, yes, we have sales and yes, we want you to come in and buy whatever. But like, we want you to feel confident and we want you to feel like we're on your side. Yes. yes. Not like we're over here trying to like force you into something or sell you something. No. Like we, we want you to feel good in your skin. And we say that over and over again. Yeah, we do. We do. And we really are just trying to sell confidence. And so if someone is driving by and they see a billboard and they feel like, oh, I I would like to make a change in my life. We want to say, then come here because it's the very, very best place to make a change. But if you can drive past that billboard and not worry about it. Yeah. I love that. That's our goal. That. (laughs) I love that. I I love that. No matter what. No matter what, but I do really um, love the people that are vulnerable enough to come in and have mm-hmm. a, a conversation to say, um, I I don't love this part of my body, mm-hmm. and it's not responding to diet and exercise. Yeah. And then we pr- give them permission to understand, you're right. Yeah. There's nothing you can do in the gym right. or what you will or won't eat that will take away stubborn fat. Yeah, and like people talk about like like there's like stubborn fat and then there's like hormonal fat. Just things that people have struggled with, like, their entire life. Mm -hmm. And, like, I was – I've been redesigning the website, so I'm looking through a bunch of before and after pictures. And there was one where this lady just had, like, kind of, like, fat bulges on her hips. Mm -hmm. And I have talked about this patient before um, to some of the marketing team um, and to the girls at the clinic. And they said, like – she just, like, was always so self-conscious about yeah. it. She was called names. She hated, like, wearing tight clothes. She, you know, mm-hmm. and, like, it was not, she couldn't change it, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And so I think to be able to do that, yes. to be able to, like, change how somebody sees themselves, how some, you know, like yeah. something that they just, like, yeah. couldn't do on yeah. their own. I mean, so we've had women that have come in and they're very, they're very lean, but they don't like their arms. And genetically, mm-hmm. they've just got more fat cells given to them in their arms. Yeah. And they, and they have to not wear, they can't wear clothes that they want to wear. Yeah, I think, like, that's such a huge thing is, like, feeling, like, restrained by, yeah, like, restricted. what you can wear. Yeah, what you can wear, what you can't wear. And, like, from an outside perspective, it's so easy for us to be like, oh, my gosh, you look amazing. Or, I know. I would never have noticed that. Right. But that's why Bell Medical is such a personal thing. It's about self confidence. It's not about what anybody else no. thinks. No, it's and it's not about what the world should, should tell you. Is telling you right. you should look like. It truly is a one on one conversation. Mm-hmm. Our treatment coordinators are unbelievably empathetic, yeah. and ed- and they educate. And it's just this conversation to tell them, hey, that's stubborn fat, that's genetic fat, that's nothing you're doing wrong. Mm-hmm. And if that bothers you, I we have tools to fix it. Yeah. And if it doesn't, less is more. Let's not do it. Yeah. You look great. You're beautiful. There's yeah. been the sweetest conversations that have gone on where I know people have left with far more confidence than they came to us. And that was even before the procedure. That's so true. And yeah. that is what we're about. Yeah. And I can see where billboards, billboards look and can look a little callous or there's no heart behind it. But I will tell you, there is heart behind Bell yeah. Medical. We care. 100%. And yeah, like there's only, you know, so many words you can put on a billboard. There's only so many yeah. pictures you can post for people to like really understand like yeah. what we're trying to do. Yeah. And it's hard to get the feeling of who Bell is, the yeah. personality of Bell, the heart and soul of Bell. Yeah. In, in just a quick marketing piece. Right. Right. And so that's what we're trying to do here. Yes. Um, That's what you'll see when you come in. When yeah, absolutely. When you come in and talk to a treatment coordinator, when you walk by the girls at the front desk, like you'll see right. that like we care about our patients. Well, and every, so many of the girls have treated, they understand yeah. the vulnerabilities. Mm-hmm. And so when somebody walks in, we know they're bringing in, a, I mean, the, um, vulnerability, like yeah. they're bringing that in mm-hmm. and that should be cared for so cautiously. Right. We don't take that for granted right. that you're willing to come in and speak to us about something that you mm-hmm. feel insecure about. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. It's a really big deal. Yeah, I agree. And I think like talking to Jacqueline in a podcast, I think with yeah, last just, week. Uh-huh. In, Tul- in Tulsa. Yeah, I yeah. think that was like really sweet because, you know, like as a marketing team, we talk about, you know, like how we feel about everything and like we get so passionate about it. And then like to hear it from other people on the yeah. team. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, that is what we're trying to do. Yeah. And yeah. we take seriously who we hire, mm-hmm. who we allow in the space of Bell. Because Bell is such a really, it's just a really amazing space. Mm-hmm. And the people that find us and do understand our messaging, they'll tell you that. And we have so many people that say positive things to us. Yeah. But we get it. We yeah. understand. Yeah. And people feel passionate. And I think like body positivity and like, 
I think like sh- her talking about motherhood, like, yeah. yes, yes, Absolutely. 100%, <laughs> you know? And yeah. so, yeah, it's cool what the body can do to become a mother. Yeah. It's okay. Whatever's left behind. Mm-hmm. The goal here is that we have a responsibility truly to be our very best selves. And mm-hmm. if something about our body is holding us back from that, then I do think it's very courageous to come in yeah. and have a conversation about that. And if it yeah. isn't, awesome. Yeah. That's okay. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking with yes, me. And yes, just it's like, so good. I know. I'm like, I feel like uncomfy, like being like, this is what people are saying about us on the internet. <laughs> yeah, but it's honest. It's yeah. true. And yeah. it doesn't diminish who we are. I think it's just trying to be transparent yeah. about trying to explain maybe some of the things that come at us that are negative. Yeah, and like kind of validate what they're saying and validate what, what we're, trying we're trying to do. To do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's I love good. it. Yeah. So good to talk always. Yeah. Okay, well, stay tuned next week for another episode, um, and we'll see you then.